one small unimportant decision that you made that changed the whole trajectory of your life. Taco Bell, July 6th, 2011. Never forget. Um, my husband and I and my then 14 month old boy, we were traveling from my apartment in Queens to renovate our eventual home on Long Island. And we stopped at a Taco Bell on July 6, 2011, grab a couple of chicken chalupas real quick. Like we just didn't have time. We just had to go from the house back to our, our apartment and, um, we're now all done, ready to go pack up the kid. He's rear facing in the back, 14 months old. And we head westbound, heading towards Queens on Old Country Road. I wasn't paying attention. I was on my phone. And the last thing I hear is my husband say, what the? And then boom. It was like things like floating in the air in our car. It was like it happened so slow yet so fast. So apparently a guy had mistimed his turn. And instead of he gunned it. And he didn't cut us off, he slammed into us. So we suffered two hits. He hit us from the side, and the hit was so hard that it sent us into a telephone pole. So we suffered two hits from the side mm -hmm. and head on. And it was awful. We were banged up, bruised, bloody. But in that moment, I thought, well, you know what? That's it. Like, I lost my boy. You know, there's no way he could have survived this because our car was literally like just like shards of metal. Anyways, ambulance comes. Thank God. They were like literally within like 30 seconds away. They came real quick, went to the hospital. All three of us are okay. And um, now um, it's time to recover, right? I wasn't feeling so hot. So that day, the woman who was taking care of my daughter in preschool had said, hey, under New York State law, you're entitled to acupuncture. And I was like, well, it's no flipping way, okay? Because I don't do needles, all right? They stepped me with plenty of needles when I was pregnant and I was okay. No, thank you. No needles for me, but I appreciate it. The next day, she texted me, how you doing? I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel even worse. I'm so sore. I can't even bend over to bathe my kids. Like, this is really bad. She goes, look, stop being so stubborn. Go get acupuncture. My guy took care of me with my hand in a car accident. He'll take care of you. Go see him. So reluctantly, I went. And after one treatment, I did not feel 100% better, but I did feel like a good 30, 40% better and I can move better. I'm like, okay, I was not cured, but this, there's some to this acupuncture voodoo. Fast forward a year, I'm sitting in the classroom in acupuncture school waiting for somebody to teach me and it's the guy who treated me during my car accident. So from something bad comes something good. My father used to say that my something bad was that car accident. It was bad. I don't want to go back. That was horrible. But my something good is that I became a doctor of acupuncture. Now I get to help people get out of their pain and take care of their faces and make them look good. That's the story. Take care.